Then I twist it, and then pull it out. His guts and shit start falling everywhere, but I jam my hands inside his open stomach, grabbing the key. Then, in the final moments before he dies, I hold the key up to his face, and then I laugh. Normally, I'd say you failed the challenge, except that was so horrifically amazing. You won. Yeah! Go team! Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. I knee him. Right in the orc balls. Success. The orc clutches his groin, never to father children again. Ouch. Your turn again, Chloe. I do a pommel strike. I strike his pommel hard. <laughs> um... What did I say? A pommel is the end of a sword handle. Pommel strike is where you hit the guy with it. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I do that. Except you're not wielding a sword, you're wielding an axe. This sucks. It's all right. Try using your- You've delayed too long. The orc swings his warhammer at your head, barely missing your move. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. Don't worry, Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Alamon nods. Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. What's next? It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows, ha 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 Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgaron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? <laughs> oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation Strike! That sounds boss as fuck! One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no, three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs, plural, severing 
both feet at the ankles. This game is awesome. My feet? Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. 20! Fuck yes! You bring your axe down in a wicked chop, severing his arm completely. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I cast Gignomi's Fire Strike of Flame! Oh, snap! Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgeron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn, Elamon. Durgeron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. I actually feel sad right now. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. got here twitch don't call me that true north a jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad guess nathan prescott made the shit list oh wow this is some really weird crap prescott it's not yours give it back i hate that you're on the team now you're such a loser guys no need to fight you can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. 
Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Leave. Now. You're actually standing up for Nathan Prescott? How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. When Nathan goes crying to Lord Prescott, everybody here will be stuck doing sensitivity seminars all week. All talk. No game, huh, Chloe? Booyah! <laughs> that took me months to put together! Quit the team, Twitch. For your own good. Shit. Next time? Mind your own business. You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. here. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda, indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Uh, many a time, the harmony of their tongues... Uh, hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors. And most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Meow. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Miranda's an idiot, because falling in love is stupid. What is she, 12? Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. 
That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber? Last night was amazing. <laughs> I I'd never seen Firewalk live. <laughs> Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Is that a rhetorical question? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. Respect. Let's get the hell out of here. you don't want to just grab the bus or nope if we're gonna go rogue we're doing it right well what the hell am i getting into here Chair Price, the view's amazing. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair, maybe one of these crates. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here.
thing's heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. I didn't mention it earlier, but... You seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people, yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. Oh, <laughs> shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun? Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. V-card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. So, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? I don't buy the ambidextrous claim. No? Well, that's too bad, because it's true. Prove it. Sign your name with both hands. Sign where? Seriously? All the bad girls do it. Come on. Damn. I'm afraid the lie was New York. I'm a Cali girl, born and raised. So New York's on the bucket list. Broadway, here I come. Cool. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact, right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? 
Let's see how good she really is at this game. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? Swear. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. No way. Bitch took my yoo Knocked her the fuck out. I see you like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. Also, sweet scar. I'm secretly the lead guitarist of an all-girl Misfits cover band called The Misfits. Impressive. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. Damn straight. But, you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. So you're a physician now? Last summer I performed a one-woman Doctor Who homage entitled Weeping Angel. Wait, what? The point is, I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from a skateboard? Yeah. I guess... six years ago? Seven. Well, shit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling lie. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic. But I've passed by your locker a few times, and I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. You've passed by my locker? Stalker much? Hey, I notice things. I can't help it. I guess you're no stranger to being noticed, too. It's kind of new for me. Well, get used to it. So, let's talk about this lead guitarist business. The business of show. As much as I'd love to be a groovy to your all-girl cover band, The Misfits. I'm gonna have to call Lie on that one. There's no way you'd ever be a groupie. Okay, that's fair. Backup dancer. With vocals. Obviously. The problem is, your hand is smooth. No calluses. You don't play guitar. Pity, too. You'd look hot on stage. So, if my math is correct, you cheated. Not a single truth escaped your lips. Not true. Oh. Stephanie Kowalski really did steal my yoo in fifth grade. Well, she better watch out. Next time I see the bitch, she's gonna feel my wrath. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, 
you'd understand. No, I get that. On the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Hey, want to listen? bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes... I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it! It's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. 
Luckily, we've got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah? Let's see what you got. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. Yuck. Cliche much, AW and OL? I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. I guess nature doesn't quite provide. I don't want to head down there just yet. If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it Innocence Lost, or some shit. Hey, spare some change? Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not... What kind of food? This place has really gone downhill. Shh. She's right there. Yep, it's official. I'm learning way more ditching school than I ever do in class. Whoa. That's badass. There's got to be something freeing about being able to build your home wherever you are, from whatever is around you. My hierarchy of needs goes pot, then beer, then wine. Still, wino has a classy ring to it.
I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self-respect. This trash can is in pretty high demand. Bye, you fools. This Blackwall guy sure liked founding stuff that was already there. Founders keepers, I guess. Damn, that's an old tree. Wait, does this sign say butt rot? Looks like this one might actually be working. This whole day is out of order, but in the best possible way. I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use? Was this how historic axe murderers searched for their next victim? I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. Stop sextanting the interns. Dwight Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer guy. Where are all my explorer ladies at, though? Probably at home, washing laundry and spitting out kids. Fuck you, Dwight. That is the look of a person who is used to getting what she wants. Wonder what that feels like. The lonely oak looks lonely. Guess even trees have outcasts. Rachel's quarter is still trapped in there. Waiting to be set free. Just a day in the park with Rachel Amber. You know when something kind of amazing is happening, you don't always stop to think about it right away? And then when you do think about it, you start thinking about it a lot. And the more you think about it, the crazier it seems until pretty soon you're psyching yourself out and then everything turns to shit. Yeah, let's not do that today.
I guess nature doesn't quite provide. Wonder if I can get that quarter out of the viewfinder. I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Press got power, activate. I win. That was enough of a game for me. Your MacGyver skills are second to none. Except, probably, MacGyver. Rachel smells like... Jasmine? Is she smelling me right now, too? Really should have showered this morning. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try.
Hmm. What's going on with these two? And the Lord saideth, Thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. Wow. That was dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? I hope bees don't mistake my shorts for begonia. I've been pollinated twice this week already. <laughs> Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? Nature's Wi-Fi sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their password. We love nuts, 69. Dingoes ate our babies, 13. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Who's next? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Ooh, <laughs> jackpot! Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Oh, honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. I don't know. I might still be hungover from last night. Wrong answer. You don't ask a girl out and then, and then not buy her a drink. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead? No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And... Fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. Alright. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> Oh my god! Holy, Holy shit. shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Better act fast. What, what do we do? Uh, uh, oh, thank god! Please, this girl is in trouble! Go get help! I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. Who are you waiting for? Go! I, I've, I've seen this kind of thing before. This woman clearly has a wound that needs to be sterilized. Do you happen to have any alcohol? I didn't see a wound. Look closer. In the meantime, I'll search for the booze. Hold on. There's something off about this. Are you girls putting us on? Rachel! Run! What the hell? Oh. 
So, maybe your acting could use a little work, but at least you committed to the performance. Thanks. <laughs> I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Oh, hey, check this out. What? Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, yeah. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? Chloe, I'd really like some space right now. Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. No. I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! <laughs> oh. Uh... Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Score. <laughs>